There's a new boss in town. Jamaica has a new JG. No, not the Governor General, but Garth Gale, who was voted in as the president of the Jamaica Athletic Administrative Association at the Bodies AGM and Election of Officers. The former Gen Sec lashed, crushed, walloped, bamboozled, and stomped on his opponent, the 1976 Olympic gold medal winner in the 200 meters, Donald O'Reilly Quarry, beating him 236 to 28 votes. The 20-year Gen Sec replaces the outgoing boss, Dr. Warren Blake, in the top post. It did not come as a surprise that Mr. Quarry lost to the Charlemont High School principal, but that margin, that huge margin, came as a shock. But let's move on as the election is done and dusted. I did ask some persons why did they vote for Mr. Gale, and about 96 to 98 percent said he had served the association long and hard and deserved a chance at the top. Then I asked one more question. Did he do a good job in the post of GenSec, a position he held for many years? Almost everyone paused before answering and then said it could have been better, but he did all right. Mr. Gale has now been given the mantle to carry the association to the pinnacle, where it is hoped to be praised by patrons, coaches, athletes, and officials. And the praise has not yet begun. Now, there was a statement by Stephen Francis, the outspoken, brilliant track and field coach, commenting that the J3A's is one of those lucky federations which has nothing much to do. The MVP trap boss went on to say that the development of the sport is taken care by the Intersecondary School Sports Association, that's ISA, the high schools, the colleges, and the local clubs. And then he topped it off by stating that as long as they don't get into anyone's way, the sport will blossom in the island. Hmm. To be honest, I do agree that the J3s don't do much to help develop the local athletes, and they have been lucky thus far to be an association that governs a sport that brought forward world beaters like Quarry, Merlin Artie, Shelley and Fraser Price, Melaine Walker, Asafa Powell, and the sublime Usain St. Leo Boat. They can't point their fingers to say, we were the ones who played a major part in the athletes' development and their accomplishments. So because of the organization's past, the GG has a lot of work cut out for him to do. One is to remove the stigma from persons' minds, including mine, that they don't do much to help with the development of the local athletes. Two is to help more of the older athletes in their careers, whether financially or with other issues. Three, to bridge the gap of communication with athletes, coaches, and stakeholders. And four, to make the association more attractive for sponsors to hop on board. In Sean's law, the J3s were not doing enough, and many persons would say they, would, they were doing jack squat. So it's now time not to sit back, but to pull out their pretty diamond socks. But who to tell? The ball is in their court. That's Sean's law. What say you?